What's up YouTube? Fitness Apticians here. Today's topic is fat burners. Do they work? Do you need them? What brand do I recommend? Do me a big favor. Hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it, and turn on your alerts. I would really appreciate it if you did me that favor. All, right? All I want to do is make you better. Let's go. Should you take fat burning supplements? And there's two answers to this. Are they essential? Do you actually really need them? No, you don't. You can lose body fat without taking any fat burners. Number two, if you do take them, how much of a difference do they make? The difference a fat burner will make in your progress depends on, I'm gonna say, how sensitive you are to the stimulants. There's certain properties that boosts your metabolism, but I'm not gonna tell you that a fat burner is gonna be a game changer for you. Will they help? Let's say over a month, two, three months, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna make a slight difference. They might help you lose an extra pound of body fat over one or two months, maybe two pounds. But it's not gonna be a significant, like you're not gonna get shredded in three months because you're taking a fat burner. There's still other things that you have to do in order to get the results from a fat burner. Do they boost your metabolism? Maybe. And, but in my opinion, it's probably just temporary. Why? Because the stimulants only give you, only stimulate you for about one or two hours. In that one or two hours, you might burn an extra 50, 60 calories because your heart rate is higher, your body temperature is higher. So you're going to, you're going to burn a little bit more because you're going to burn more calories. Here's the problem. If your nutrition is not on point, then you're not gonna get anything out of taking a fat burner, right? So let's go to the whiteboard and let me explain to you what I'm talking about. All right, so when it comes to burning body fat, right, there's one thing you have to understand. Number one, one pound of body fat has approximately 3,500 calories. That's, that's the consensus um, amongst research and studies and the more common number that you're gonna hear any trainer, any coach tell you that one pound of body fat has 3,500 calories. In order for you to burn body fat, you have, to, you have to create a deficit that includes your nutrition and your exercise. So if your body burns 4,000 calories a day total, including exercise, whatever activities that you do, but you only eat 2,000 calories. 4,000 minus 2,000 is a 2,000 calorie deficit. Now, on the other hand, if your body only burns 2,000 calories per day and you eat 4,000 calories per day, you're gonna have a 2,000 calorie surplus. Why is this important? Let's just say, for example, to keep things easy, let's use myself as an example. I eat about 3,000 calories per day. So that's what I eat. If I exercise on the days on the days that I exercise, let's say that I burn 3,500 calories. So this is my this is my calories in. On my on the days that I exercise, I burn 3,500 calories. Burn. Right. So this is out. Okay. So on the days that I work out, I have a 500 calorie deficit. Okay. If I work out every single day, at the end of one week, so I multiply this times seven, I will have created a 3,500 calorie deficit. Right? For the week. And again, so if I create a 3,500 calorie deficit over, over seven days, and one pound of body fat is 3,500 calories, that means that I lost one pound of body fat over that seven days day period. On the other hand, if let's say let's say I take let's say I take um let's say I take a month off from working out. I'm just like I don't want to work out anymore for a month. 
and I'm still eating 3,000 calories, but I'm burning, but let's say I'm burning only 2,500 calories. Right? So this is, this is scenario one. This is gonna be scenario two. So in scenario two, let's say that I decide, okay, I'm gonna take time off. I'm not gonna work out anymore. And my body, let's say, burns 2,500 calories a day naturally. Just doing normal day, it's called the, your basal metabolic rate. It's how many calories you burn just doing normal daily activities. But I'm still eating 3,000. So now, now I'm gonna have a 500 calorie surplus. And if I multiply that times seven, right, I'm gonna create a 3,500 calorie surplus. So if I create a 3,500 calorie surplus, now I'm gonna gain one pound of body fat. So this is where uh, fat burners come into effect. This is where they come into play. Let's just say for example, so let's erase this. Now that you understand surplus versus deficit, okay? Let's just say that a calorie, a fat burner, so in scenario one, right? I was losing one pound of body fat per week because I had a 3,500 calorie deficit. Let's say that, the, uh, let's just say that a fat burner helps me burn an extra 50 calories per day. So 50 times 70 equals 3,500. It's gonna take 70 days of me taking the fat burner to lose an extra pound of body fat. 70 days is about two months and 10 days. But if I have a surplus of 3,500, right? That if, I'm, if I'm not burning 3,500 calories a day, instead I'm, I'm I mean, if, I'm, if, I have a, if I have a surplus of 3,500 calories a week, this means that if I take a fat burner, my deficit is gonna, my surplus is gonna go down to 3,450, okay? And all it means is over a 70 day period, I'm not gonna gain an extra pound, but I'm still gonna gain weight. So I'm still gonna gain body fat, but I'm gonna save one pound. So I'm just gonna lose, I'm just gonna gain body fat slower. But in the end, I'm still getting fatter. In the end, you're wasting your money if you don't have the proper nutrition plan. You can check my website on nutrition just check it out and I give you guidelines on how to set up a nutrition plan. Do fat burners work? Yes, right? Over a 70 day period, you might lose an extra pound of body fat, which is it's a big difference. We're talking about, we're talking about uh, maybe one to 2% body fat. And if you're competing in a bodybuilding competition, there's a difference between being ripped and just being lean. It's the difference between first place and the difference between fifth place or second callouts, right? Which is six to six to ten. For the average person, I would say take if you if you have your nutrition on point and you're really serious about losing body fat, then I would say yes, the fat burners will help you. But if you don't have your if you don't have your nutrition on point, forget about it. You're not gonna get any help. Do you need all the other things, you know, the L-carnitine and, uh, and all the other supplements? No, you don't need all that. My recommendation, whenever you look at a supplement, there's two things you're looking for. Number one, research. I more than likely, I'm gonna go with a company that has third-party research. That means that I'm gonna hire scientists to take research, study it, break it down, and come up with a great formula to maximize the benefit of that pill, powder, of that product, okay? Number two, okay? You gotta look, you gotta look for quality control. Same thing, you're looking for third-party testing. 
If I hire a research company to give me the best ingredients in the world to come up with the perfect formula for me to lose as much body fat as possible, okay, I, want that, I want that formula to be executed to the T. So every pill, I want it to have every single ingredient to the very exact amount so that I can get, so I can get what I pay for. Third party research. Now what I want you to understand is there's a lot of companies who the research has been done. I mean, most, most fat burners, most fat burning companies, they have the exact same ingredient list. I mean, they might change one little ingredient here and there. One might have Yohimbe, one might not. Uh, the stimulants uh, vary. And then it also, it also depends on the person. I, I know Yohimbe has been said to cause like dizziness and, and uh -huh. nausea, but um, companies are getting away from it. So other companies still use it because it's, a, it's an effective fat burner. But again, and a lot of companies also, they have, you know, uh, caffeine, and they also have, uh, they have hot pepper extracts in their, in, their, in their ingredients. And most companies have the exact same or very similar uh, ingredients list. What it comes down to is the companies that they're hiring to create the pills, create the powders, are they, are they using the exact formula in their products? So, the two things you're looking for is third party research, right? Third party, and third party, right? Quality control. That way, you get what you pay for. So those are the two things. That's where you wanna start. What's the fat burner that I use? Thermoxel. So when I tell you about the two things that you need to look for, research and quality control. The company that I represent is DotFit. And DotFit, number one, does third party research. So they hire, they hire scientists to come up with the most up-to-date formula to maximize the results that you're looking for when, it's, when, it, when it comes to creating the perfect product, such as Thermoxel. The other thing is quality control. They are NSF certified, which means that that's the National Science Foundation. They are certified for sports. So that means that professional athletes uh, can basically rely on this product because there's a very small chance that they're going to be tainted, Th which is the reason why I always say, number one, research. Number two, third-party testing in terms of quality control. Additionally, at DotFit, we sell you something called the Lean Pack. It has three products, Carb Repel, Thermoxel, and liver support. If, if you're overweight and you've had a, an unhealthy lifestyle, let's say for the past five, six years, and now you're trying to make this decision as healthy and burn as much fat as possible, having a, a healthy, clean liver is very important. My suggestion is go see a doctor, see if you have a fatty liver. If you have a fatty liver, he's gonna give you advice on how to, how to clean the liver out, but also the Lean Pack has a product called it's called weight loss and liver support. And what that does is that it, it helps clean out your liver so you can start burning, burning fat more effectively. So check that out. Check out the Lean Pack. Check out the website, right? And again, Thermixel is the fat burner that we use, but we also combine it with the Lean Pack so you can maximize the amount of body fat that you're going to burn over the long period of time. Do me a big favor. Hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it and turn on your alerts. I'd really appreciate it if you did me that favor. All, right? All I wanna do is make you better. Let's go.